It took half an hour just to get into a dang parking spot. First of all, yeah, we got a really bad. People here don't know how to park. People don't even know how to get in. It's backed up all the way to the interstate exit, just for the parking tolls. So it's three stopping lights and then the interstate 10 exit. And I assume getting in through security isn't any better. At least Goliath looks good with this new paint. And Wonder Woman's not even freaking open yet, which I was supposed to be writing it a week ago. A week ago, I was supposed to be going to the media day, which it's media day got rescheduled. We don't even know that date yet. I don't know. Let's hope that they have a decent operations today so the lines aren't too trashy. I'm expecting our lines on everything. Hopefully not worse, but it'll probably be worse. Uh, we just ate uh, lunch. The line wasn't that bad. Somehow it still took 12, 15, 10, 15 minutes to get food, which is kind of sad. Over there you can see Wonder Woman. I don't know if it's testing today or not. We'll log by. We're going to try to do Superman, even though it's going to have a crazy, crazy, crazy line. Going to at least do Superman. So, because it's a and m It goes quick. It should be running at least two trains. Maybe, hopefully three, but at the very least two. If anything, today's running one train besides Boomerang. It's dumb. All right, guys, I'm going to bet you a lot of money that 75% of these people think that this is a new ride because it has brand new paint. I'm going to take a guess. Probably 75%. And uh, it's probably about right. Because look, look at that. Holy crap. Out of the gate. the Wonder Woman construction. They closed it off right here. Uh, they're installing catwalks on the brake run still. Uh, it doesn't look like it's testing right now. It might test later. We'll see, but we're gonna go get some good look looks at this. This has completed test runs. I don't know how many. One, two, maybe three, maybe 50. I don't know. Uh, I've only seen two different videos of it. Sorry, the Larson loop is really loud. They got one train loaded up right there. They're doing some work on the track. And they're doing catwalk work and station work. Station looks pretty cool. They got some, uh, what are those, concrete pillars? They got some concrete pillar looking things. All right, we're gonna wait in this 20, 30 minute line for Poltergeist. Let's hopefully they pick up the operations a bit.
one of the restraints on Superman is not locking, causing the whole ride to come to a stop. We're gonna think about heading to ZDT's and on our way home. So we're gonna go to ZDT's and I'm gonna pick up that credit there and do some electric go-karts. All right guys, we're doing one last ride on Superman. And then we're going to ZDT's. It looks like it's still uh, like four o'clock. Well, it's 4:30, and uh, 4:27. Yeah, 4:27. Close enough. Thanks, Hayden. <laughs> um, it's 4:27. The park is insane. Every ride except for Superman has the line spilling out of the queue onto the midway. Everything filled up. Extra queues outside of the main queue filled, and still spilling up. Iron Rattler has a 135-minute wait. That is two hours and 15 minutes. Insane. So, we rode Superman three times, and now we're leaving. And it did break down while we were in line. We're going to try to go to ZDT's. Uh, he wants to try the go-karts. Uh, we heard they're electric, and uh, sounds like fun. We're at a ZDT's amusement park. I've never been here before. I switched back. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I think we have to pay 14 bucks because we're here at 6, like afternoon hours. They have walk Ooh, rock climbing. All right, so let's check this out. It has like a line of 20 people. That's like a whole train of people. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. I'll let you guys know how it is once we get in the park and stuff and get our tickets. I, I think this is the queue for Switchback. I think. I, is it, there are errors. Okay, it says. To it. Okay, we just got our wristbands, unlimited games after six. Okay. Switchback. What row do you want to sit in? Do you care? Right. Is it? We can. Hayden, we're here for like. At least, we can be here for like as long as we want, pretty much, and ride as Everybody many times. Has the shortest line out of like. We can, yeah, we can ride as many times as we want. Yo, this is literally like there's a cornfield silo right there, and then there's with rock climbers, and then there's a, a, a rock climbing on uh, on the cor excuse me, rock climbing on the corn silos, and I don't know the people here are so cool. Okay, we just got off back row and switched back. Um, those gravity group restraints are sketchy. They're like, it doesn't like look like it goes down all the way, but it was a good ride, I suppose. 
I'm aiming at this uh, yeah, yeah. wooden fence. I was afraid the go-karts, and they're probably the best go-karts I've ever done. They're electric, and they go fast. And what I did was I would kind of... I didn't really use my brakes much. Uh, I just kind of... That thing is loud. I just kind of whooshed around every corner. Okay, look, this is literally next to houses. And uh, Taylor was right, sketchy gas stations. All right, this is, uh, yeah, this is the place the park's in. are now leaving ZDT's and I gotta say uh, this is probably my new favorite small park the go-karts are awesome uh, can't say much about the arcade uh, I'm gonna compare it to Castles I mean, and they Coasters had some, uh, Japanese oh yeah uh, if I'm gonna compare it to Castles and Coasters Castles and Coasters has a much better arcade uh, they have a dark ride also at Castles and Coasters here they have rock climbing on old farm silos which is just part of the park now I guess and their sign which is pretty cool it used to be a cornfield, I guess. Switchback. First ride, I didn't really like it. After the first ride, I was like, oh yeah. Feels like a mini voyage. Um, I don't know where this would place. Maybe top five. I have to think about it a bit. Uh, sat in every seat. Every, every, seat. every row. Uh, Is it the second row? Yeah. Okay. Like a third ride. Um, Hayden, what'd you think? You like it? Yeah. Want to come back here sometime? Yeah. Awesome. I have one wooden coaster left in Texas that I need to ride, and that is the Boardwalk Bullet. And it hurts like hell. Yeah, probably. And then all I have to ride is, uh, the stuff at SeaWorld, and that's it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this, uh, dual park vlog, I guess. It was, uh, sort of a successful day. I got a credit I didn't expect to get, but, uh, Six Flags is pretty trashy. So thank you guys for watching. Well, thank you for the hospitality, ZDTs. It was a good visit. I had more fun at you today than I did at Six Flags Fiesta, and that's saying something. Uh, we will return uh, if anyone from the park is watching. I, I promise that. Shut up, GPS! <laughs> God dang it! Uh, we're yeah, all right, guys. Before we go, and uh, like I said, we will be returning because I love this park, and I want to do those go-karts and ride switch back some more and get a POV next time. I just need to talk to the park. I'm sure they'll say yes. Uh, think about this. This is your normal Texas town, right? It's your normal, normal, normal Texas town. Just, you know, a few farm things, some old buildings, some sketchy car dealerships, sketchy gas stations, and then just an amusement park there, <laughs> built on some old corn silos. And that's really cool. And I like that about this park. It's a pretty nice place. So um, I'm gonna stop at the reviewing because uh, I'm gonna do an actual review later. What do you want, Hayden? How is, uh, hi. How is 2199 for fuel? 219? Yeah. Good. Technically 220. That's pretty good. Right. Uh, okay then. And as I was saying, a uh, very nice place and well, we, we will be returning for some POVs and go-karting POVs and just have fun because I like this place. Uh, yeah. Bye. You need to see